Big interest in Anthony Martial. Three goals in his last three matches, and you can't argue with that sort of form. We'll have the action on EA TV. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester United up against West Bromwich Albion. Yeah, thanks, Derek. All that work in the week, all that chat in the dressing room, all that stops now. It's put your game face on, get down to it. I'm really looking forward to this one. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Will he finish? And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And because he's on his own, he collects himself, and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. 1-0 then.
Sandro Tonali. Sancho now. They've regained possession. Field. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Sandro Tonali. And is he going to do it, Martial? Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Right, I'm hearing there's been a goal at Turf Moor. Alan McAnally can provide the details. Alan. It's a goal for Burnley. It's been scored by Jay Rodriguez. He prodded home in a scramble after a corner. 30 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. They might be able to get in now. Oh, off the post, still alive. Delicht. Well, it was so, so close there, Derek, to taking the lead. Just can't out. believe that the Woodwick Set. saved the goalkeeper on that yeah. occasion. And providing width. Harper. Kermenchik. And a strong tackle. Got a pass that lacks quality. Field. Clarico out. Set. Yo, yo, yo. And now they have the ball back. Promising looking ball. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. United looking to forge ahead. Let's see if the corner helps them. Clarico out. Sid. What camera angle is this tag? Taking care of business Jack defensively Costa here. Underscore, underscore. The goal has been scored at the Tottenham Set. Hotspur Stadium. Let's My find penis out is more humus. about it from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Eric Lamella. I didn't think he could reach it, but he got on to the end of the cross with a lovely diving header. 27 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Clara go out. Delightful Set. pass. Wickedy Watt K camera angle dock. Can he do it? As a go! The shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper, was it? No, but he picked up the flight nice and early. Jean Meneses. And a good looking ball. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Clara go out. Well, Set. I thought that was the lead right Not there. Not FR no, Ward Ward so, Koss, so there is no way I'm playing on this no cap. Aaron Wan Bisaka. And news of a goal at the London Stadium. Alan McAnally with details. It's a goal for West Ham United. 36 minutes played. 1 1. Cheers again, Alan. Clara go out. Said. What can he do from here? Can't hear you. It comes to nothing in the end. High pressing at its best. A glorious chance. And that is defending of a.
highest order. De Ligt. Luis Felipe with it. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. And opting for the lenient approach, the referee, rather than cautioning him. And the free kick from long range, he didn't miss by much, Lee. No, I thought the ball would be coming into the box, but long range free kick, he's had a go. From the bake. Jaden Sancho. Well, he's lost it. Rakeem Harper. Can they get in behind them? Timely intervention. There will be one minute added on at the end. Oh, lovely ball. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Can he put them in front? Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams.
Well, to be fair, United have worked their socks off to get themselves in front here. They just need to see this out. The fans are trying their best. Oh, nice ball. And into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. And you need your defender to take charge. Takes the shot. Oh, late drama here. All level again. Incredible scenes. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Sandro Tonali. Martial. Giving it a try. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him. No problem for the goalie. Three minutes of added time here. Robson Canu. Jean Meneses. And offside, unfortunately. What to the final whistle. It was an eagerly anticipated contest, and in the end, a keenly fought one. Besides.
This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. And I must say, it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue. Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Fulham versus Manchester United. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. Well, looking at the table, Chelsea fans' general expectations and the reality of the situation, two very different things, Lee. Well, you have to look twice at the table to realise they're not in a Champions League place, and that's unthinkable, it really is. The club's in turmoil, way below the standards that have been set. Accountability, that's the key in any club, top to bottom.
For Manchester United, last time out, a draw against West Bromwich Albion. How do you think this one will go, Lee? Well, attacks on top, to be honest with you. A stalemate at 2 2. Well, another stalemate for me today. Nothing between the two sides. I think it'd be a draw. He's driven in the corner and clearing it away. There's been a goal in the Manchester City match. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a goal for Manchester City. Six minutes played, 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. A tremendous block. Lingard might be able to set up the chance. And looking towards the back post. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Well, this is the day, his debut forthcoming. And it's going to be interesting to see what he produces. What do you think we should expect to see from him, Lee? Yeah, all eyes will be focused on him today. He's got all the attributes in a wide player I used to hate playing against. And his biggest desire is to make the fullback look silly. Chance to play it in. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. And a throw in it's going to be. Alex Tellez. Scott McTominay. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Intense pressure. Lemina. And now Kenny Tete. And a goal at Stamford Bridge, I'm being told. But for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Southampton. It's been scored by Theo Walcott. He was played in behind the defence, and despite the keeper catching his leg, he stayed on his feet to score. 20 minutes played, 1-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Slipshod passing. Tom Kearney. Reed. Useful looking ball. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. So back in action. And it's up to United now to be inventive. And the assistant referee has raised his flag. Offside. Lemina. Nicely cut out. Jesse Lingard. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Martial. Oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Fulham have not had too much of the ball, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. And space here on the flank. Tete. Lemina. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And there to intervene. Lookman. It's there for him. Couldn't grab hold of it. Threat over for now, it seems. And it might be a favourable situation, this, for Manchester United. And unable to keep the ball. Trailing as they are, what will be the thinking in the camp as you see it, Lee? Well, this United side just needs to up the tempo a little bit in the second half. They've had some joy. The team's nearly clicking, but just not quite. And a strong tackle. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Can he do it? Martial! Wonderful block. Vital into... Ball is loose. Well, 
they survived the attack. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Back underway then, and work to do for United, given the scoreline. Chance to play it in. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Given away by Manchester United. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Lee. Well, he's been the obvious target for many clubs, and you can see why. He's a top player. Lots of people will love playing with this lad. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but he certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Said. And news of Hello. a goal in the City game, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Kevin De Bruyne. The ball was played across the face of the goal, and he had an easy tap-in. 54 minutes played, 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Scott McTominay setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. He Cavani. worked too. Said. One, two, three, four. How many megahertz are in my store? 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, 777, one, two, three, four. How many Nick Gertz are in my store? Seven hundred and seventy seven, 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 hundred and seventy seven, seven thousand, seven hundred and seventy seven, seven thousand, seven hundred and seventy seven seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven he worked too said one two three four how many nick gertz are in my store seven hundred and seventy seven 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 seventy seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven 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 seventy seven thousand seven hundred and seventy one two three four how many Nick Gertz are in my store seven hundred and seventy seven 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 seventy seven Seven thousand seven hundred and 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 seventy seven pull back was an important piece of defending now the conclusion he's missed the opportunity Marcus Rashford, Cavani, 
So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And this could pose problems for the defenders. Reed. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. He did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner. Over it comes. Well, no end product. Chance to attack using wit. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Smuggled away. Lukman. Inside the final five minutes now. Might be a chance here. And that could be oh so important. So back in business, can Manchester United come up with an answer? Manchester United battling the clock and the scoreline. Eddington Cavani's in the vicinity. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Rashford, gorgeous pass from Rashford, well a classic example of how to intercept, and the referee blows for full time, the big headline here, defeat for United, Lee, your assessment of the game. Just a moment of your time. No further questions.